Hello everybody, welcome to this presentation. My name is Markus Koslik. I'm product manager at Sensopart for Vision Sensors. Topic of today's presentation is Visor Multishot Tips and Tricks. So what is Visor Multishot? Visor Multishot is a special lightning technology which is suitable for detecting deepened or raised structures on surfaces. So for which kinds of application do we need this feature? This feature is especially interesting for applications like data matrix codes on metal. Here we see a dot pinned code on a metal surface. On the left side, on the original image, we see a very shiny surface and it's difficult to detect the dots on this shiny surface. On the right side, we see the image with multi-shot and here we see clearly each dot separated from the surface. An even more interesting application is a code which is directly molded into plastic material. On the left side we see such kind of code. So the code is black and the surface is black and this is quite difficult to detect even with other illumination technologies. And on the right side we see the multi-shot image where the deepened structures of the code are clearly separated from the surface. In this example we see a stamp marking in a metal part which also can be detected very clear and very easy with the multi-shot feature where we could use for example a blob detector to detect the dot In this example we see some characters on a very rough metal surface, many reflections on this surface and difficult to detect with standard algorithm algorithms. On the right side on the multi-shot image we see the characters very clearly and they could easily be read by the OCR detector. So how do we achieve this? What is the trick on this uh, application? In the end this is very easy. What we do is we take just four images from different illumination directions. We compare these four images against each other and we calculate a so-called pseudo hate image where we have hate information in the image created from just four 2D images. This looks like in this example, this is a, a welding spot. If we would detect a welding spot with the multi-shot feature, we would get a hate profile like we see on the right side. The multi-shot is offering a couple of different types of images. They are listed here. This is the curvature image, the curvature absolute image, the height image, the albedo image and the mean image. They can be selected in the multi-shot setup. Here we see what we can achieve by using these different images. Again on the top we have the height profile and we see the color maps which are created when we select the different types of images. The most common image is the height image which contains the most interesting information. So how do we set up Multishot? Multishot can be activated by a checkbox in the Multishot tab. In this checkbox we have also the selection of the type of the image. And for the first setup we would recommend to select the combined image quadrants. 
where we can set the shutter speed and the working distance. Multishot offers a couple of very interesting parameters to optimize the results. One of these parameters is the local mean parameter, which allows to remove noise from the background. The second very interesting parameter is the range parameter, which is directly related to the height profile. So by the range parameter we can filter out embossed or deepened areas of the image. Here we see a setting of the range parameter to filter out only the deepened parts of the image, which are the black dots. So if we set the range parameter to negative values, like it's done here, only the black dots of the image are left over and the other parts of the image are removed. To make the images better understandable and better visible, we can use also a color map, which maps the gray values of the image to different colors. There are available in total three illumination possibilities for the multi-shot feature. The first one is the use of the internal illumination, which can be switched in four segments. This is suitable for working distances up to 50 mm. Second possibility is a ring light, which is available in red and in white color. This is suitable for applications with working distances up to 100 mm. And third possibility is another quite big ring light, which can be used for applications up to 200 mm. This is available in white, red and infrared. The multi-shot feature is available in the visor all-around units. The visor all-around units combine all the other visor products like the visor object, the visor object color, the visor robotic and the visor code reader in one unit. Thank you for watching. If you want to have more information, please visit sensorpart.com. Bye.